This is Professor Neil. Welcome back from the future. Hello, Professor Neil. Okay, she's back, yes. And this is English 1, Unit 12, Part 2. We are finishing the Fast Track 1. Hey. Oh, we are finishing English 1, whole Unit 12. Ready, Yonghee? Yes, yes, yes. I was a bit frozen. Yeah, let's because finish the, the things. The future thing looked a bit cold. Yeah, she's a bit... Ah, oh, yes. Well, the future is a cold place. It's always a bit desolate. And as we started in part one, <coughs> talking about the pr past, present and future. The now. The before now. The after now. Oh, Professor today, Neil coughed because of a cold future. Yes, a little <laughs> cough. Don't worry about that. Tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. We started in the last unit learning about future days and time expressions. And now we're going to start putting some of that into practice in Speaking 1. Here in Speaking 1, we're talking about New Year's resolutions. Oh, it's always difficult. In Korean, uh, we call it the uh, New Year's resolution. It's like a sehe. Sehe bok mani badu seyo. And then we call it chakshim samil. Chakshim samil. So resolution, yeah, no, resolution is we call it chakshim samil. You normally say, every New Year we, you know, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, but it doesn't last more than three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that. I'm gonna stop drinking. So, so they, we call it chakshim samil. Professor Nee, do you want to learn Korean? Resolution? Chakshim sam il? Chakshim sam il. Yes. So, so. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, well, let's just stick with English for now <laughs> and uh, learn the Korean later. So in this last ex last unit, last or last part, part of one. this unit, we learned about the auxiliary is going to, plus the main verb ex exercise here, and... In these questions, they are yes-no questions. So it's like, is Stacy going to exercise more? And then B says, no, she, Stacy, isn't going to exercise. And then they add a but. A but, meaning there's going to be a change. But, because here is not, and here there is no not. So that's the change. But she is going to stop eating junk food. Remember we said this is the object, the stop eating junk food. And we're going to look at how that works in this unit. Mm, it's always the case. Oh, I'm going to do exercise to lose weight. Oh, it's too hard. I'm just going to have to lower the uh, eating amount or stop junk food. And Thank you, Yonghee. <laughs> <laughs> so in, with the second one we've got R because there's Dennis and Jerry. Dennis and Jerry are two, so we use R. Stacy is one, so we use is. Uh, so singular subject, we use is. Uh, Dennis and Jerry, plural, we use uh, are. You get, you're like Dennis Nedry in Jurassic Park. You get suddenly serious. What? Right. And then, as we say, no, they aren't. No, they aren't. No, they aren't going to find an apartment. But a change, a change here, because there's no not here. There's not here, but there's no not. So you can use but, but they are going to look for jobs. So with Bill and Nancy, John and Charlie, Toby and Mark, we're going to practice some of this. Not all of it. Lola, Theo, Henry, Frank, Lily, Logan, we will leave for you to do for homework and stuff. So Bill and Nancy, we got join a gym, X, lose weight, O. We want a yes, no question. So we've put R to match with Bill and Nancy and going to join join a gym so are Bill and Nancy going to join a gym and because there's an X here no they aren't no they are not but we're putting a comma here because like in the example before we're going to put a but 
and the butt will see a change of feeling. No, from negative to affirmative. Oh, very good, yes. They are going to lose weight. How? Yeah, I, I, I guess they're going to diet rather than exercise. But really, you have to combine both. Still, all right, so as we say, it's a yes-no question. Use, because there's two, we need a plural be verb to match the subject, they and Bill and Nancy, and there's a no. John and Charlie, again, because there's two of them, we use are, are going to quit drinking. Quit drinking, we've got over here. And again, we say no, they aren't, comma, but. As Yonghee said, from the negative to the affirmative, they are going to quit smoking. Good on them, good, it's difficult. Toby, is Toby going to buy a car? Nope. Notice here we use is because Toby is one person. Singular. Singular. From serious Yankee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, he isn't. No, he's no, I didn't say that. Nedry in Jurassic Park. He is really playful and then suddenly he's like really serious. Yeah, because it's important. Yes. When you do the calculation. You have to be very I wish precise. I wish I had that clip for my favourite movie, Jurassic Park. Mm. But uh, maybe for when we do another book. Mm, we need a lot of. Uh, but he is going to save men. money. Affirmative, negative. And last one, Mark. She is not Mark. Well, maybe she could be Mark. Ah, uh, I see. Mark wants to marry a woman like her. Hope. <laughs> I guess that's his hope. Is Mark going to get married to a woman like her? No! <laughs> he isn't. Why are you angry? No. Do you no. know Mark? No, I don't know Mark. Do you have a friend called yeah, Mark? Yeah, I do have a friend called Mark, but let me... Mark, Mark doesn't deserve. <laughs> but he doesn't have a girlfriend. So, but... Because he has to find a girlfriend. Good luck on that. <laughs> if you look like Mark, no chance. <laughs> right, well, I, I think Professor knew you don't like your friend Mark. Yes, yeah, a bit je jealous of him. <laughs> Better calm down, calm down. Okay. Yeah, so you can we'll put those other ones up in homework for now. You can see there's the no, 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 and then the yes, yes, yes. Okay, I think that's enough of that. I think we can move on to speaking too, which is a bit more fun, talking about the weather. Because being British, just love talking about the weather, don't we? All we want to ever do is talk about the weather. Because you guys never get it right. Yes, that's quite true. People like to talk about things wrong. Weather forecast. A forecast is a prediction about the weather in the future. In the future. So usually we watch the news, and then at the end of the news, there's the weather forecaster who will tell you what the weather is going to be tomorrow or the day after. And usually they're fairly right, but sometimes they're wrong. Let's hope these people are correct and that they're right. So the question is, what's the weather going to be like next Monday? Here, next Monday. Okay. So I guess, I guess we're on Saturday or Friday or before, before this. We are before this. So we're asking questions. Here are the types of weather. Here are the pictures to match. We already have humid set up. And the main point is we're answering what. What's the weather going to be like? So as we're matching, humid. Humid. The weather's going to be humid. That's the main key of this discussion. What's the weather going to be like next or on a certain day? So let's do the first one. And we might say, it's going to be. It's going to be. And then we have the type of weather. So let's go with Monday. So we already have Monday done for you. It's going to be humid. I put here little green dots for humid. It's going to be humid, the type of weather. Yongi, can we run through a few with you? Or all of them? What's the weather going to be like on Sunday? Mm, it's going to be... Uh, thunderous? Ah, uh, stormy. Stormy! Stormzy! Alright. What's the weather going to be like on Tuesday? It's going to be sunny. Sunny! 
What the weather going to be like on Wednesday? Mm, I don't understand the sign. Well, do it by powers of deduction. Uh, uh, shall I give you a... I wish uh, I could hide. Right. Deduction? Well, you you know it's... You know it can't be stormy. You yeah. know it can't be humid. humid. You know it can't be sunny. So is it cloudy, foggy, rainy or windy? Uh, is it supposed to be... I don't know. I'll give it to you then. Foggy! Is it foggy? <laughs> don't click... See, foggy. There we go. See, I even had a picture ready for you. Bus Busan fog. Oh, sea yeah, mist. That symbol is very... Uh, strange to me. Mm. Yeah, well, don't worry about that. That's fog. That's Busan? That's Busan. Well, who took the photo? Someone on the internet. <laughs> the photographer is yeah. the internet. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful photo. Shouldn't really admit to that. Thursday. <laughs> What's the weather going to be like on Thursday? That one is not difficult. It's going to be cloudy. 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 What's the weather going to be like on Friday? It's going to be rainy. Rainy. And the last one. What's the weather going to be like next Saturday? It's going to be uh, windy because of the uh, the fan. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, what's that? That was windy. <laughs> I thought that was uh, the uh, ninja. <laughs> called windy so as we say what here describes an object of a thing and in this case the thing is the weather okay, and we've done those all for you I hope you enjoyed that windy has gone and now we're going to move on to speaking three in speaking three as it says in the title we're dealing with upcoming events now the main focus of these events is we're looking at his planner and you can see he has eight things planned. Young is uh, taking notes. She's scribbling in someone else's notebook. She's sort of shaking. Yeah, she's shaking. Oh, she's nervous about this. This is the final, really. Yes, so, but the main f big thing here is we're talking about future time expressions. There's lots of time expressions. So here in the questions, so we did this before, but you can put time expressions in the question. And then, in as a result, they give the event that's going to happen. There we go. Those are all the future time expressions highlighted for you. So, to give an example, using the questions from the book, we might say, what Bill going to do on day, date? So you've got day, comma, date. He's going to verb have a job object, object a job interview a job interview object sometimes there'll be extra stuff too okay what's Phil going to do on Thursday March 6th 6th so you've got th 6th he's going to go to the dentist yes he's going to go to the dentist mm. now we've highlighted bits here in green because you could give a shorter answer you can give a shorter answer what's phil going to do on thursday march 16th you only have to give the object plus extra mm. verb plus object plus extra bit you don't have to repeat he's going to mm. you can just say go to the dentist mm. You could say going to the dentist. Some people say going to the dentist. Right. So, what's Phil going to do on Thursday, this March 6th? Go to the dentist. All right. Another one. What's Phil going to do on Tuesday, May 18th? He's going to have a job interview. He's going to have a job interview. And the shortened version... Have a job interview. Have a job interview. Makes it much simpler. What's Phil going to do on 
Friday, June 20th. Uh, he's going to study for exams. He's going to study for exams and the short answer. Study for exams. Study for exams. It's not like it's uh, homework is coming. <laughs> <laughs> There's always some homework I coming. I sense some homework is coming. <laughs> yes, because we're not going to answer all of them. So those are all the future time expressions. The fact that we only did one, two, three would leave four, five, six, seven, eight for a possible homework option. But with speaking tests coming, I might ignore these and just focus on the speaking tests rather than homework. Because the future is uncertain. You don't know about what Professor Nu is going to do with the homework. Yeah, the future is uncertain. Uh, before I'm 30, well, I'm, well, I've got a few years before I'm 30, so maybe I can do some of these. And it says, think about the activities below. Are you going to do them before you are 30 years old? Complete the sentences, I am going to, I am not going to. So we've got here, buy a car, get married, uh, be famous, learn a language, help old people, skydive. Oh, help Professor Nui. Yes. <laughs> Use a computer, look at a book. Look at the book, not reading a book. No, look at a book. And... <laughs> Build a island. So what? So for example, what are you going to do before you are thirty? Before I'm thirty, I am going to buy a car, or I'm not going to buy a car. So Yongi, you ask me the question, I will answer. Okay. What are you going to do before you are thirty by two? By two. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Before I'm 30, I'm going to get married. Before I'm 30, I'm not going to be famous. Before I'm 30, I'm not going to learn a language. Before I'm 30, I'm not going to volunteer my time. Before I'm 30, I'm going to go skydiving. Before I'm 30, I'm going not going to start a business. Before I'm 30, I'm going to read 20 books. Before I'm 30, I'm going to travel abroad. Mm. Very good. Yeah, that was easy. I just read what was on screen. <laughs> okay, so that, that, that gives you the, your choice. Uh, once again, you should probably add two of your own things that you want to do before you're 30. Well, 30 was a long time ago for me. <laughs> That's why I said before you are 30 times pi two. two. Ty, yeah. Oh, ta, very good. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. Before I am 30 times 2, I'm going to... Climb Halasan. Ooh, very good. Oh, sorry. That's good. And very good uh, thinking. How about you, Yonghi? What are you going to do before you are 30? Mm, before I'm 30, I am going to perform on stage. Flamenco dance? Yes. Yeah, it sounds oh very good. That's my dream. Good plan, good yeah. plan, good plan. Classroom activity, we'll leave for the classroom. Uh things we need when we go on vacation. Dictionary. I think that's if you don't know them, learn them. Why do we need to carry pillow for <laughs> airplane, airplane. It's quite useful to have a pillow on the airplane. Okay. Oh, yeah. these days cell phone charger is very necessary. Um, yeah, because otherwise you end up buying one. Do we need to carry toiletries? Uh, well, if you're flying, they'll take them from you. So <laughs> not a good idea. Um, Water that you'll throw away um, again. I guess if you're traveling in Korea, this is okay. If you're mm. traveling outside Korea. This list is not advisable. Listening, listening. Ooh, our final. Our final listening. listening. Wow. I think we're almost at the end now. Yeah, we've made a listening. long way. So it says Martha and Dexter are going to graduate university next year. Read the sentences below, then listen to their plans. Write M, D or M, D to show who is going to do each item in the list. So we're going to read the listening. You just got to write who is going to do them. And then we'll give you the answers immediately afterwards today. For being kind. 
Mm -hmm. So let's find the listening for unit 12. Yeah. Okay, so Yongi, do you want to read Martha? Yes, Martha. Okay, I here think. is Martha. I'm Martha. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to graduate next year. I plan to work as a hotel receptionist. I'm going to make guests feel welcome and help them with their travel needs. I'm also going to develop my computer skills. That way I can take on more responsibilities at the hotel. To prepare for my career, I am going to do an internship at the hotel in my final semester. I won't make a lot of money at first, but I'm going to get valuable experience. In time, I'm going to get promoted to manager and make a big salary. Thank you, Yonghee. Very good. And now I'll read Dexter. Most of my friends are already looking for jobs, but I'm not. That's because I'm going to travel after I graduate. I'm going to see major cities in Europe, Africa and Asia. The trip is going to be expensive, so I have to save money. I am going to get a part-time job this summer. I'm also going to get better at using computers to do some freelance work. I know that one day I am going to have a busy career. I don't want to regret missing this experience when I have, when I had a chance. These two students have a wonderful future plan. Yes, yeah, so let's see. I'm going to do an internship in my last semester. That's Martha. Very good. Oh, let's just get answers. Martha. I'm going to save money for a trip. That's Dexter. I'm going to improve my computer skills. Both of them. MMD. I'm going to visit Africa. That's Dexter. Asia. I'm going to work as a freelancer. That's Dexter. I'm going to gain a lot of experience. That would be uh, Dexter. And both of them, actually. Oh, very good. Okay. I'm going to help guests with their needs. That's uh, Martha. I'm going to get promoted to manager in time. That's uh, Martha. I'm going to get a part-time job this summer. That's Martha. Oh, Dexter, sorry. He wants to travel to and I need to save money. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a busy career one day. That would be uh, Dexter. And? Martha. Very good. Those are the answers. Uh, we got one more bit to do, which is the reading and writing. Our last reading and writing, which, yes, you can expect some homework. Look at the hotel advertisement for Paradise Resort and then read uh, Jamin's summer vacation plans, then choose one of the three hotels and write a similar description plan. This is going to be a great vacation. I'm going to stay at the Paradise Resort in Bali, Indonesia. I am going to be there for two weeks. So the hotel fee is going to be cost about $1,400. There are many things to do. I am going to go scuba diving, visit historic sites, and ride an all-terrain vehicle. Vehicle. What's my voice? All-terrain vehicle. Vehicle. The vehicle they can use for all surfaces. I've got it, but my voice has got a mad max. <laughs> I am going to go with my best friend Minu. We are going to get up early every day and try lots of new things to make the most of our stay in Bali. Oh, well done. That's the last reading of this unit. So you can see here, there's an example in the book to fill in the gaps with your writing, which is probably going to choose one of the oh, places great. to visit. I want to go to Ramses Resort. Oh, very good. So you'd fill it in. This is going to be a great vacation. I'm going to stay at the Ramses Resort in Cairo, Egypt. I'm going to be there for two nights, so the hotel fee is going to cost $150. There are many things to do. I am going to take a cruise on the Nile, see the pyramids at Giza, shop in a bazaar, visit sacred mosques, take a photo in front of the Sphinx. Oh, Sphinx. Question. I am going to go with Yonghee. We are going to have a wonderful time and take lots of pictures and make the most of our stay in Egypt. 
Ooh. Ah, Professor Neil, are you taking me to Dear Egypt? Ooh, that might be inappropriate. <laughs> All right, it's grammar review. So that's the last of the reading. You know, with grammar review, check the answers in the back of the book. This has been Professor Neil and Yonghee. Tia Yonghee, it's been a wonderful semester together with the Professor Neil and uh, students of the DSU. Mm -hmm. So thank you for joining us at English One. This is the end of part two. This is the end of everything. Bye bye. Farewell.